my first year working at Jersey Mike's, I mean, I was 19 years old at the time. I was working at night, and this guy came in. You could tell he was not having a good day. You know, he was kind of teary-eyed. He was looking down the whole time. He was kind of sniffling. It almost sounded like this guy's got something bad going on in his life. And as I'm taking his order, you know, he's very short. He's not even keeping eye contact with me. I make an Italian for the guy. I give him a cookie, just like, here you go, man, it's on me. It was a quiet night. He's like, thanks. He went, sat down, and he, like, I'm looking at him. Ten minutes, he hasn't even opened his sandwich. This guy's just bawling out, crying on the table. And there's no customer in the store. And a part of me was like, man, this is really bothering me. I feel really bad for this guy, and I have no idea what's going on. So I grab a broom, a dustpan, and I slowly, like, just sweep my way towards him. As soon as I get to him, I'm like, hey, man, like, I, I definitely don't want to intrude, but is everything okay? Like, I could tell, like, something's not right. And the guy just let it out. He's like, a buddy of mine just died in a car crash last night. Oh, damn. Uh, my, but one of my best friends, I can't believe it happened. Like, I'm in shock. I just figured it out, like, a couple hours ago. I uh, don't know what to. And, man, I'm 19 years old at the time. And I personally haven't dealt with death in, in my family or friends. So it's it very, like, uh, how should I say it? Oh, well, a little uncomfortable for me because yeah, I don't want to say. it's a tough spot to be in. Yeah, sure. I don't want to say the wrong thing. So I just, I kind of noticed that he was just being down and he's all alone. So I'm like, dude, is it okay if I sit down? And he's like, please. And, you know, the only advice I gave him, like, I told him, I'm like, I've never dealt with the man. Sorry, I'm not really speaking from experience, but I think time will kind of just help. It's going to be tough no matter what, but just hopefully time will kind of heal the wounds, you know. So if there's anything I can do, man, please let me know. I just want to make sure you at least kind of keep your head up, you know. And so anyways, that happened. Um, and then a couple days later, he came back. And this time around, he was like all smiles. He was in a good mood. And I'm like, oh, like, it's good to see you, brother. Like, what's happening? And he's like, I just want to let you know, man, like, you're the only guy other than my close friends, but you're the only guy that really went out of their way to kind of just like, you know, calm me a little bit and just soothe me a little bit. And that night that you sat down and talked to me, I want to let you know, like, it was it was really, really big for me. And I really appreciate what you did, man. So thank you. And I was in shock. I'm like, dude, like, thanks for letting me know. Sorry to hear about the bad news. I'm just, I'm just happy you're happy, you know? And this guy ended up, his name is Johnny. He ended up becoming one of my friends. He would come to the shop every couple days. And every time this guy came in, man, he was always coming with a small gift, dude. He came with Ray-Bans one time. Well, that's no small gift, but <laughs> he came in with Ray-Bans, got me a gift for that. He brought me a bottle of vodka. I'm like, dude, I'm 19 years old. I don't even drink. He's like, just take it. It's on me, man. And so it, it, it was kind of nice. I didn't, I didn't want anything, didn't expect anything. Like I said, it was just kind of like my body felt like it had to go there and kind of do something about it. You know, it's kind of like ultra instinct. Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's nice of you, man. Sometimes, you know, it's it, it's weird, but like a, a stranger coming up to you and acknowledging something is so much more impactful than whether it's one of your family members or your friends because, I don't know, it kind of just renews your faith in humanity. You're like, all right, people, this, this guy doesn't know me, but for some reason he cares. Yeah, and man. Just little things like that go a long way. So I'm proud of you, man. Good hey, stuff. <laughs> thanks, man. It was definitely definitely rewarding. And it was, was kind of nice to learn something like that at a young age, man. It carried on with me 